As you may have seen, we bought a helicopter. If you wanna see what our helicopter is like, why we bought it, and all the specific details, click right here. But right now, we're in Austin, Texas, and we gotta fly that thing home. Sweetie, do you wanna go on a helicopter <laughs> adventure with me? Is it a really, really long ride? Sure is. <laughs> Of course, since we're in Texas, it would be stupid for us not to visit our friends in Austin. Flying Eyes sunglasses, Flying Eyes, I wear Flying Eyes. This is where Flying Eyes is located. Flying Eyes. Flying Eyes? Flying Eyes. Flying Eyes. <laughs> What's, what's the name of the, the tents? Kestrel Mirrored Rose Lenses. Mirrored Rose Lenses. I like them. They look good. The ladies agree. <laughs> yay! Yay! We, we did it! Sunglasses! <laughs> I've got my stickers for the helicopter, and I've got a new pair of Kestrels with the, what's the name of the lens? Mirrored Rose. Mirrored Rose. I'll be wearing these all the way back to California. Let's fly. So we're getting a later start today than I had expected, but that's totally fine because you've got buffer time built into the trip. So uh, instead of making this a two-day trip back home, I think we'll stop. Uh, and we're going to do a little overhead over my buddy Texas Dave's rally school and yeah. then land for some lunch, and then uh, we'll see how far west we get. Woohoo! I'm glad we're doing them. Take our time. Make it more fun. You like fun, right? Let's have fun. Departure from Barry Adder on risk uh, to a force air with I'm looking for the traffic. Yeah, I passed that one on Mike. I got four zero whiskey and no delay across the uh, runway one seven traffic's uh, short final for a touch and go. We just spotted a huge cloud of dust off the nose, and we think we found Texas Dave. Texas Dave's making a mess. Oh look, yeah, it's just, there's a car running out there. Check it out. Someone's doing a slalom uh, in a Subaru. There's Dave waving. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Did you wave at Dave? He's I going to be disappointed if you didn't. My hands are so full. <laughs> They're a little full. <laughs> but look at the facility though, it's so cool. He's got um, all this space. They do camping out here, and uh, it's just such a, a, an awesome place. Sweet! Okay, that looks like fun. Okay, we'll come back here at some point. We definitely got to come visit Dave. Okay, we're going to do just a little quick low flyover, and then uh, we'll move, move on to, uh, to lunch. That wasn't a low flyover. No, we'll uh, come in a little bit lower. <laughs> open field and a uh, spot where helicopters can land, though nobody is there right now, so it's all ours. <laughs> you can see the smoke from here. <laughs> That's amazing. We landed. Right, you're landing on a one out of ten scale. Maybe five? <laughs> oh. Not my, not my best work. It's new, it'll get better. Barbecue. Can you sweetie like a rib? <laughs> oh, that's smoky. Let's go.
times we had a really good barbecue meal. That was pretty dang good, right? That was so much better than I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to head onward. I think we're going to probably spend the night in Junction because there are uh, thunderstorms happening uh, further out west on our path. So uh, we're not going to mess with no thunderstorms. Real close to that giant tank that says flammable. Sure can. That seems like a cool idea. Uh, 8.5. Yay! <laughs> You're improving! <laughs> you... Oh, and hey, sweetie. What? Look who didn't puke! <laughs> it was close! <laughs> <laughs> Even though it was a fairly short leg, um, flying this section with the R-44, uh, it is so much more livable than my previous helicopter. What do you think? I agree. This is so different from our Enstrom experience. This thing is so family friendly. Cue the graphic. Yay! <laughs> also, uh, I'm breaking in my new flying eye sunglasses, but I can't remember the name of the lenses. But these lenses, <laughs> according to the text, that's what they're called. They're so good. Like, really great contrast, and they're super, super comfortable. So, good on you, flying eyes. I love my new Kestrels. And they also look good on you. Oh, thank God. That's like <laughs> 80% of the equation. Air conditioning. Oh. The big accomplishment in Junction was we got a full night's sleep. We got ushered from the airport to our hotel by the nicest man on the planet, a dude named Dallas. He was so nice. He's absolutely great. He's the airport manager here. So uh, we're going to head westbound over. Uh, we're going to get a gas stop in Caicos and then onward to Las Cruces tonight where we will have delicious Mexican food at La Posta. And I'm going to eat soba and then we're going to fill them with so much honey. Jim County traffic helicopter, Fort Sierra Whiskey, departing directly west of the ramp. Help you later, Dallas. Take care. Simple. Take care, traffic and flight. Dallas, you are the best. We will see you next time. Cheers. Take care, man. Oil bears, wind turbines, we've entered the power zone. <laughs> the power zone? <laughs> Ooh, that's not what I thought you were going to talk about. <laughs> power zone, I have one of those. <laughs> different all of a sudden. Yeah, we're getting closer to that wily Coyote Roadrunner territory. <laughs> Maybe. We really are. Get a little airport. 6.5. <laughs> Another uh, leg without any puking. No puke. No oh, puke. Sorry, little guy. We don't Aww. need you anymore. <laughs> Pecos traffic, helicopter force here, whiskey departing direct to the west of the ramp. Pecos. Fire. Pretty big dust devil. Let's avoid that. bird flying through frame. Can I cheers you? Cheers. <laughs> By the way, this comically small margarita. <laughs> like, is mine too big or is yours too small? Yeah, it makes no con sense without the context. I got a flight. <laughs> I do like all you have to do to look reasonable is to like move this away from the others. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's just a little thing. Oh, well, that's good. This is the kind of thing you can do when you fly places instead of drive places. What? <laughs> I mean, we didn't land here. <laughs> <laughs> you took an Uber. So 
cheesy. Earlier today, uh, when we took off, I said I was going to have sopapillas at La Posta, and I am going to do that now. Poke. You can fly a flying machine, but it can't make the honey go in the hole. <laughs> It's all gonna be all right. If traveling by helicopter seems awfully fancy, I'd like to point out that we're waiting next to a number four outside of Whataburger to get some breakfast. Fancy. We're about to leave Las Cruces, um, but I saw on Instagram today that yesterday in Texas, that whole corridor we flew between Dallas and Austin, there was like substantial damage to like one of the airports there, um, you know, and so uh, like 70 plus mile an hour gusts in San Antonio. So I think we got out just in time. Why are you going to eat biscuits? <laughs> Making fun of one of their pilots. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of ways to be a pilot, and some of them involve eating skin. What can I say? It's a beautiful 170 of you here. Thanks for giving away. I got a straight tail on this airplane. But hey, you want to come in my van? It ain't got no windows, but it's got some puppies inside. <laughs> Surprise, not making fun of the other pilot. Just go fly the helicopter. Let's get to it. Traveling through all this desert, it's so exciting to see a patch of green in the distance. Oh, I, th I think there's got to be a river over here, right? Thought you just like run off from a Gatorade factory. <laughs> yeah, let's just follow this for a bit. Five. Is that a new headset? This is the Zulu 3 by uh, Lightspeed. And uh, recently we got uh, Zulu 3s for you, me, and whoever else uh, comes in here, plus a set of Sierras for my daughter. And man, they're good. Super comfy. Like you wouldn't fully appreciate it uh, were it not for all the hours we've spent flying. But like uh, you spend a few days sitting and it's like, I don't even feel the headset. Yeah. So that's one of the things I was worried about with these super long days. So far, um, the helicopter, the flying eyes, and the light speeds have made it like a really comfortable trip. Hooray! Yay! We're at Safford Regional. I don't know where that is. But there are mountains in all directions. It's kind of pretty here. Wait, how did you get us here? Just follow the line, baby. <laughs> We're just gonna go up this valley over here and then go west. That's actually a more direct path, but I think it'll be a little bit nicer to go up here so we're not uh, dealing with winds coming over peaks. And I think there's a water source up here, which is a real novelty in the desert. Ooh. When you have um, strong winds and big gusts and then super hilly terrain, uh, you get a lot of this sort of bouncing you up and down kind of stuff. The good news is that just uh, up ahead ever so slightly, uh, it should drop down and uh, smooth out quite a bit. Hooray! But first. So for me, that was pretty nerve-wracking. How was it for you? So it's a new helicopter and kind of learning what it does when things get bumpy. Getting your head around how the helicopter feels in those kinds of challenging environments can be tricky. With all the uh, dust devils out here, it looks like geez, we terraformed Mars. <laughs> What's it guessing to? Uh, uh, 23 knots. The text will show you what that is in miles per hour. Okay. 
seven. Spent a few hours in Chandler, Arizona. Um, had some meatballs last night. The techno music just never stops. And now we're gonna make the last push toward home. Will we have techno music on the way? You know it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> A left spiraling turn for the west. Left spiraling turn for the west, park rider on wrist, 2840 with you. The joy of not having to taxi. Wait, this whole thing is just because you don't like to wait. <laughs> Would, wouldn't that make sense? <laughs> it would! I feel the same way! <laughs> Damn it, our raw sexual energy has set another field to play. <laughs> I wish I knew how to stop it, but I don't. <laughs> if you know why it's important to burn big uh, swaths of land in Arizona, tell us in the comments. Looks like Big Thunder Mountain Railroad out there. <laughs> when I married you, I knew you'd take me on adventures. <laughs> well, I, I bet you were thinking like, uh, maybe we're gonna go to uh, Outback Steakhouse on a weekly basis or something <laughs> like that. I can see our shadow. Oh, that's always good content. Yeah, you see that? That's good content, you guys. <laughs> I hope you appreciate how good this content is. <laughs> Behold the Colorado River. Hello, boating enthusiasts. I recognize the fun you're having. <laughs> Blew down their ladder. Come on, let's go home. Sierra Whiskey, you can cross runway six, landing at uh, the east ramp will be at your own risk. The wind is 280 at three. Seven point six. We did it! Yay! <laughs> you brought your helicopter home! I'm five, sweetie. Woo! And you made it the entire way without puking. Yes, I did. <laughs> that is like the least likely outcome. I did not expect that. Okay, we made it home. Let's do a little recap. Sweetie, what was your favorite part of the flight? Definitely flying over the rally school. <laughs> like, I've edited a lot of that kind of footage, but seeing it like in real life from a helicopter was very exciting for me. Texas Dave, we'll be back soon. <laughs>
I think for me, the flight back today from Arizona through some of that uh, beautiful terrain with nice smooth air was really, really fantastic. That's kind of the dream of helicopter ownership. And, and it was wonderful to share it with my lady Aww. in air conditioned comfort. <laughs> yeah, your lady needs the air conditioning. <laughs> uh, the man needs the air conditioning too. <laughs> I think the biggest challenge was yesterday coming through the mountains with uh, the gusts and the bumps and that kind of stuff. Um, so that kind of kept me on my toes. But really, I think the big takeaway is that for us, um, based on all the hours we spent flying, the R44 is going to be a really good platform for our family's needs. What do you think? I totally agree. I am so excited for all the adventures we're going to have this year. And before we have any of those adventures, the helicopter has to go have its annual. So it's going to be with my friends at CRM. Uh, Creative Rotorcraft Maintenance are going to do the annual and take care of a couple of light bits of customization. And after that, then we're going to go do a bunch of family stuff. So look for more family adventures in the helicopter coming very, very soon. This time we'll bring our girl along. Yeah, the littlest museum needs to get some uh, airtime too. So thank you guys for all of your patience uh, while we weren't doing helicopter stuff. But uh, once this thing comes out of annual, oh, it's on. <laughs> Bye guys.